Hi friends, please subscribe the uipath.learner channel. So go to the YouTube and type uipath.learner. You can see our channel here. Uh, you can learn more and you can do more by using the UI robotic process automation. So today the agenda is uh, creating the custom activity. How to create a custom activity. These are all the topics. So first we will create a library class library by using the Visual Studio and create a NuGet package in uh, NuGet package explorer by using the, that DLL and the third one is a configure the package uh, from the I mean uh, the created NuGet package where configure into the UI path studio. So the last but not least so we're using that by using that uh, custom activity so you can create a in the flow. So let us go to the Visual Studio and create a class library. I'm just creating the class library. So go to the cshop.net and select the class library and just uh, create a folder called uh, what is that? UI path. Otherwise, new. custom cal audition add uh, custom add okay just custom add activity so we'll see a small uh, uh, very simple custom activity by giving the two numbers and add the numbers it will get the sum okay so only only the basic very simple custom activity so just change, I'm changing the name of the custom activities to custom cal add, okay. Uh, same name I'm giving to this uh, class name, you can change. To create a custom activity, you should add two, you must add two libraries. Uh, namespaces that is a system dot activity this is the one and again the next one is a system dot component component model dot composition these two you have to add and import using import those two here in the main class using system dot activity and the second one is using system dot component model that's it so here I am placing there is a two input variables so just like a a plus b equal to equal to c okay so a b is the input a is the input variable input and b is also input input and c is the output okay so these are all the the, the basic prop so here you are declaring the input variable in argument so that is a int you will declare int int 32 i am declaring or you can declare simply int also fine okay this is a a value a val and after this before before this you have to declare the category which category it is it is a input category input okay so the same thing again in argument int and this is the b val okay what is this this is also an input argument category input okay so again to store the value out or this is also output output is an in, integer value we are threatening so that is a c value so what is the category here category category that is a output okay so the main class our main class should has to inherit 
the the use the parent class as a core activity so here there is a protected so there is a override method is there execute method just click the tab so here we're just declaring the where a where a equal to so a value dot get we're getting from the context like that where b equal to b b value dot get from the context so again c value dot set what is the first parameter context and what you are setting a plus b okay so this is your setting that's it we're ready with this so you declare that input variables output variables and execute method that's it just go to the solution explorer and uh, build that one once build is succeed here you can see build started now in the left hand side corner bottom corner build succeed so just go to that low location bin debug here is your dll custom add okay open the nuget package nuget package explorer in the nuget package explorer we have to create a new package click on the new package right click on the here in the package content uh, we are adding the library so add library folder right click on the add library folder add existing file so go to that location where your existing file is the dll so select that one open here if you click this one edit metadata just create a metadata the id name is a custom and dot activities okay so this activities is a must and should okay your id should have a activities so you can change the version name and you can change the uh, ui path dot learner anything these are all the metadata you can in, uh, change and save it and save as to any location so i am saving to the same location same location here is our nugget package go to the visual studio or the ui path studio take a blank project new custom act so in the activities panel so you have a button called manage packages here is this manage packages just click on that right click here configure sources so click ok a, click ok this one custom act add yes select that one the location so where is this this is a c test in the c test you can go to the c there is a test within the test there is a custom add custom add bin debug this is a folder okay just click on the apply click okay, okay. here you can see custom or uh, you can reopen custom available things see custom activity it is added custom add dot activities so you can install that one into your it is installed 
just go to that location and see just uh, quickly create a one small workflow I'm just uh, you can see custom see custom call add so where is that custom call add this is a custom call add activity so you can just drag and drop here so if you go to the properties so here is a a value b value these are all the inputs and c value is the output so this is how you can create a custom activity so you can ask uh, After this custom activity you have a uh, let us ask uh, new values new enter a value so just to store that enter a value into the local a value okay okay like that you just drag and drop one more here you can give the label well title value so like that you can ask the b value also b value here the title is enter b value just right click and create a local b value so now you have a a value and b value so here this is a generic type so final c value to store the value so thus that is a integer type just select this integer type need this one okay so now of entering this uh, two things so what you have to do you have to pass these values to pass these values c int just convert the the uh, a value local a value okay c int is a convert uh, from the generic to uh, integer type if you see here b value is a int 32 C int local B value. So what is the result? Where you have to store? So there is a final result. Okay, that is a C value. So once you got the result, just to verify, just display into this value final C value dot to string. Okay, that's it. So just execute is this robot. Robot is executing. It is asking a value five, b value ten. What is the result? It is a fifteen. That's it. It is a very simple. What we did created the uh, class library and nugget package and configure that's it very simple thank you please subscribe the channel uipath.learner you can get more and more videos